President Trump has announced that Boeing will build the next generation of fighter jets for the U.S. Air Force. I was doing something. I don't know. Another merge. A non-X. Well, it is the future of fighter jets. The Trump administration announcing the next generation of air dominance, the F-47. Now, Boeing... Welcome to Exciting Machines. In this video, we're diving into Lockheed Martin's response after losing the U.S. Air Force's next generation air dominance, NGAD contract to Boeing. The NGAD program, a multi-billion dollar effort to replace the F-22 Raptor, promises cutting edge technology, including advanced stealth and man-on-man -man teaming. While Lockheed Martin expressed disappointment, the company remains committed to pushing the boundaries of air dominance and working on future defense projects. Stay tuned as we break down the latest developments in military aviation and what this means for the future of air combat. Boeing has been chosen to lead the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program, a multi-billion dollar effort to develop a successor to the F-22 Raptor. The announcement was made by President Donald Trump who confirmed Boeing's selection to spearhead the Advanced Crewed Fighter Project. The NGAD initiative, expected to exceed $20 billion in its development phase, could grow to hundreds of billions in long-term procurement. The new fighter, reportedly designated the F-47, will feature advanced stealth, sensors, next-generation propulsion, and man-on-man -man teaming capabilities. Lockheed Martin, which previously developed the F-22 and F-35 fighters, expressed disappointment at not being selected for the program. While disappointed with this outcome, we are confident we delivered a competitive solution, the company said in a formal statement. Despite the setback, Lockheed Martin reaffirmed its long-term commitment to advancing U.S. air dominance capabilities. We are committed to advancing the state of the art in air dominance to ensure America has the most revolutionary systems to counter the rapidly evolving threat environment. The statement continued. The defense firm also confirmed its continued collaboration with the U.S. Department of Defense on future projects. Lockheed Martin continues to work to advance critical technologies to outpace emerging threats and deliver true 21st century security solutions to our nation's military forces, the company added. The NGAD program is a key component of the U.S. Air Force's future combat strategy, aimed at ensuring technological superiority through distributed operations and integration with autonomous systems. With Boeing at the helm, the F-47 project is expected to define the next era of air combat capability for decades to come. Lockheed Martin, despite this loss, is not retreating from the air dominance landscape. The company remains heavily involved in several next-generation defense projects, including hypersonic weapons development, advanced drone technology, and enhancements to the F-35 platform. Their Skunk Works division, known for cutting-edge innovations, continues to explore disruptive technologies that could shape future air combat scenarios. Industry analysts speculate that Lockheed Martin's bid for the NGAD program likely included a design incorporating lessons learned from the F-22 and F-35 while integrating cutting-edge AI, stealth, and electronic warfare capabilities. The company's extensive experience in developing fifth-generation fighters made it a strong contender for the contract, and some defense experts were surprised by the selection of Boeing. One of the potential reasons for Lockheed Martin's loss could be the government's desire to diversify its defense contracts among multiple major firms to maintain a competitive and resilient industrial base. Boeing, which has faced challenges with some of its defense programs in recent years, including the KC-46 tanker and T-7A Red Hawk, now has an opportunity to prove itself with the NGAD project. Lockheed Martin is unlikely to stay idle following this decision. The company will continue to focus on other high-profile programs, such as the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber in collaboration with Northrop Grumman, various classified black projects, and innovations in unmanned aerial systems UAS. 
The firm is also engaged in international defense contracts, including supplying advanced fighters to allied nations, ensuring its market dominance in military aviation remains formidable. The competition for air superiority is heating up not just within U.S. defense circles, but also globally. China and Russia are aggressively advancing their next-generation fighter programs, with China's J-20 undergoing continual upgrades and the country's development of a sixth-generation fighter progressing steadily. Lockheed Martin's expertise in countering such threats will remain a crucial asset for U.S. and allied forces. In the near future, Lockheed Martin could play a role in NGAD even without being the prime contractor. Defense procurement often involves multiple companies contributing subsystems, avionics, or weapons integration. Given Lockheed's legacy in air dominance, it wouldn't be surprising if their technologies were integrated into Boeing's F-47 in some capacity. The long-term implications of Boeing's selection for NGAD are yet to be fully understood. While Boeing will lead the effort, Lockheed Martin's capabilities in producing advanced stealth aircraft, sensor fusion, and electronic warfare systems will continue to shape the future battlefield. The company may also redirect resources to new classified projects that remain under wraps. President Donald Trump has officially announced that Boeing will lead the development of the U.S. Air Force's next-generation fighter jet under the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. This decision marks a significant milestone in U.S. military aviation as Boeing takes the helm of a highly anticipated project, which aims to define the future of air combat capabilities. The new aircraft, designated the F-47, is a nod to Trump's position as the 47th President of the United States. This naming choice reflects the administration's commitment to strengthening national defense and securing America's technological edge in aerial warfare. The F-47 is expected to incorporate advanced stealth, next-generation propulsion systems, cutting-edge sensors, and the ability to operate seamlessly with unmanned aircraft. Boeing's selection as the prime contractor is a shift in the competitive landscape of U.S. defense aviation, as Lockheed Martin, the developer of the F-22 and F-35, was widely considered a strong contender. The decision highlights the government's intent to distribute major contracts across multiple defense companies to sustain industrial competition and innovation. The NGAD program represents a multi-billion dollar investment, with projections indicating that the development phase alone will exceed $20 billion. Over time, total procurement costs could amount to hundreds of billions of dollars as the aircraft is integrated into the Air Force's fleet. Boeing's leadership in the F-47 project signifies its crucial role in shaping the next era of air superiority. With its expertise in military aviation, the company is set to develop a fighter jet that will enhance the U.S. Air Force's capabilities and maintain air dominance for decades to come. Lockheed Martin's reaction to the NGAD contract loss is measured, but it underscores a broader reality in defense procurement no single company can dominate every major program indefinitely. The U.S. government's strategy to distribute contracts across multiple firms ensures that the defense industrial base remains robust and resilient against future threats. While Lockheed Martin did not secure the NGAD contract, the firm's influence on air combat technology remains significant. The company will likely adapt by leveraging its expertise in next-generation fighter concepts, hypersonics, and autonomous warfare, ensuring that it remains a central player in the evolution of air dominance well into the future. Thanks for watching Exciting Machines. The battle for air dominance is far from over, and while Lockheed Martin may have lost the NGAD contract, their legacy in military aviation innovation remains strong. With Boeing now leading the charge on the next generation fighter, the future of aerial combat is set to undergo a massive transformation. What are your thoughts on this decision? Do you think Lockheed Martin will come back stronger with new innovations? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on groundbreaking military tech and futuristic machines. Stay tuned for more exciting content right here on Exciting Machines. Until next time, keep exploring the world of cutting-edge technology.